Hey everybody, so I'm about to uh, start my build here. I've got all my parts here laid out and I'm going to do this uh, video a little bit different than my other builds. I'm going to pretty much cover the entire build because um, uh, this is, you know, every, every, every build this size seems to vary a little bit and I get a lot of questions about um, how should I put this or where should I put this part or how should I put this together. So I'm going to show how I do every piece uh, for this build in the video. So the video is going to be kind of long. Uh, I'm gonna, I will cut out and edit out some of the sort of dead times where there's nothing really going on that's of interest. Um, but it, I think if you watch the whole video, you'll, you'll, you'll get a really good sense of how to build this particular frame. And so that's the, the goal of this video. So um, if you have any questions, of course, leave comments below and I'll, uh, um, I'll go through the parts right now. For this... Uh build I got the B Rotor 130 frame. Gonna be using the this Diatone um, PDB. And I'll have uh, links to all these parts in the description as always. Gonna be using these uh, DYS um, 1306 3100 KV motors. These are uh, DYS 20 amp ESCs with BL Heli. These are the standoffs and screws, and there's the battery strap. Uh, this is the XSR receiver, and this is the NACE 32 Rev 6 for the flight controller. I uh, did a video yesterday on how to set this up. If you want to watch that, I'll put a card up here, and also link in the description. And I uh, will be using the uh, this video transmitter. TS5823S 40 channel race band 200 milliwatt video transmitter um, and I'm gonna color the edges of the uh, frame uh, blue this time and I also did a video uh, on how to paint your frame as well I'll show some of this probably, probably, um, I'll probably show some of this but then uh, also cut out most of it since I made another video that shows the complete painting process so let's get started so what I'm doing here is I'm um, trying to figure out how much space I need for the battery strap. It's going to go underneath the PDB. That's why I'm uh, fiddling around with the frame right now. So I got these spacers in here between the frame, the bottom plate, and the PDB. And that should allow enough clearance here for the battery strap to go through. Like so. And on this build I'm gonna uh, put the battery on the bottom. Oops, I forgot to paint the edges. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I did a couple quick coats of blue on the edges of the uh, main plate here and also the top plate. The uh, accented color looks really nice. Let's see if I can get a little close up shot here. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry here, I'm gonna work on the ESCs. I'm going to just cut off the edge of the heat shrink here and pull off these motor wires and then solder the motors on here and uh, I'm going to keep this all intact. Don't have to re, -shrink, re heat shrink it. So I removed the heat shrink that's over these three motor wires that are on the ESC. And just over those, I left the rest of the heat shrink intact. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these motor wires now. I've removed the motor wires here, you can see. And now I'm going to uh, next 
take the motors, install them on the frame, and then we'll install the ASCs and then solder the motor wires onto the ASCs. I decided I'm going to um, solder on these motors onto the ESCs first and then install the motors onto the frame. This space here is extremely tight, so um, I think it'll be harder to solder this on uh, when, once the motors are on the frame. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, it's time to install the motors. Okay, so something I noticed was that uh, if I put all the motors on and then try and deal with these power wires, it's just going to be, um, because the frame's so small, it's just going to be a big mess. So I'm going to do each uh, motor in ESC one by one and solder them to the PDB so that uh, these wires won't be in the way. Okay guys, so there's a little quick tip for you. Um, I cut this black negative ESC wire a little too short because I didn't account for the space I needed for the standoff. And so it was, uh, so I needed to put a little extension on here. So what I'm going to do for this last ESC is I'm going to put the standoff in first and then run my wires around it. Okay guys, so I've got all the ESCs connected to the PDB now, and the motors are also secured to the frame. So the uh, next part will be uh, installing the uh, VTX and camera and the NAS32 and receiver. That will be in the next part.